First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. 
Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. All right. So that was group five. And again, we saw 74, 77, 6502, 5484, and 5460. So we're going to throw that uh, poll up in the chat. So as uh, we talk about these, I think you have two or three there minutes to vote for, you, for your best in show. Um, from group number five. So starting out with 7477, uh, the Giddy Goats from Mishawaka, Indiana. So they, they let off the group five with a very artistic taste of their video. Um, did not see playoffs in the rookie season last year. So in FIM and hope to uh, change that this year. The robot has a nice ground intake and a really like low profile shooter. Um, so we get to the we got to see them winch on um, the up, but we really didn't see how they hooked onto the bar. So um, exciting things had for 74, 77. Justin, anything to add? Yeah, it's the, one thing I noticed is they have a top bo- top bottom wheel configuration instead of like a, a hooded shooter or a side by side. So it'd be interesting to see if teams end up doing anything with that, like creating a you know an upspin or a downspin. But you can kind of control it depending on the wheel RPM. You can have a little bit more control over your trajectory. So it'd be cool if they um, end up doing anything cool uh, with that. Um, like Mike said, we saw their you know the winch looks strong, but the the arm deployment we weren't able to see. But they'll be playing week three at St. Joseph, so you can check them out then. I like um, the artistic direction on this, by the way, too, from, yeah. from how this looks. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I like yes. the kind of contrast in light and dark and doing something like this. It like, was I, very nice. I think yes. it looks neat. So Yeah. 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 By the way, side great. note, I'm able, able to put live results up now, apparently, so for the poll. Oh, that's cool. So Fancy. See, we we're, no. we get a little fancy. Just a little. Yeah. <laughs> just no, a little. It, no I, I better slow that, down but... before something else <laughs> yeah. amazing happens. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we went from the giddy goats to the dark side, 6502. Uh, probably one of the most accurate inner goal shooters that we've seen um, from the groups that at least Mike and I had. And I was very impressed by that. I know sometimes in a reveal video, you kind of, you see teams at their best, right? So, you know, not really sure necessarily how accurate, how consistent it is, but I was like blown away by it. they were like center, center, center. So some really nice shots. Um, the overall, I love the name of the robot, how it tied into the video was sweet too. Mike, what'd you see? So this was just a little teaser for, um, for their week one competition, which will be at this week, obviously. Um, they show that they can hit that outer and inner power port, as Justin said, and a, a quick glimpse of their climb. There's really not much more to add, just because it was a teaser. So, um, competing, um, the FNC district, Wake County. Oh, sorry. So, uh, sorry. So we just saw a quick glimpse of their climb. Really wasn't much more to add. Um, as this just was a teaser video, but we will see them this week as they compete at the FNC District Wake County event, um, and we'll be competing again at UNC uh, Asheville um, after that. So from there, we're going to move on to um, 5484, the Wolf Pack, um, a team that has really focused kind of on their ground pickup, according to their video, um, but then they can take them and score in the outer uh, power port. We saw it there at the end, uh, Justin, they have a climber, um, and then they can move up or down um, the pole there to really help balance um, it out at the end. So that's the first one I think we've seen here in all of Premier Night. Um, and I think would we'll definitely come in handy as we're trying to just make sure that that bar is balanced um, just for that um, for that extra ranking point there at the end. Anything else to add from you? Yeah, so it was kind of interesting that um, the Wolf Pack and the Giddy Goats will be at the same event, uh, week three in St. Joseph's. It just kind of happened to work out that way. But I'm very excited to see how useful that ends up being. It's something that our team had talked about early on, you know, balance, helping balancing that out. It's nice to see that they were able to pull that off. Uh, it does look really – it looks really good, um, really good too. So intake and shooter add up to a really great robot overall. And like I said, you can catch them week three at St. Joseph's. And then lastly, we, you know, we finished the group with a, a Michigan Powerhouse 5460 Strike Force coming in. It looks like a really strong robot. Strike, it was a zone. Little bit of a, strike zone. Strike Zone. Sorry. Strike Zone. You know, all last year I did that too. <laughs> I'm just going to call them Force and Zone, and that's it. Hey. Not the, <laughs> like the strike it. I don't have to worry about. But yeah, Strike Force 5460. On, uh, strike Zone. Oh. <laughs> uh, it lo- really looks good. Um and I can't wait to see kind of a little bit more as they uh, release their or do their full release next next week. Yeah, so Strike Zone. <laughs> it's the first of team in, <laughs> in 
So uh, it's the first team kind of in Justin and I's group that we have seen them do um, that can actuate the control panel. So really nice work to them. They have a really great ground intake and a turret as shooter. Um, There's another kind of teaser video from another team. So we'll be uh, checking out their full reveal on the Infimidation show that's coming up this Tuesday. Kind of a preview of what's going on in Fim this week. So um, good luck on the season 5460. Um, looking to take the win at MSC after coming up short. If you guys remember this, five matches, five final matches oh, last yeah. year. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, with the two yeah. ties. I think finals one and finals four. Um, so uh, finalists for them at MSC looking to uh, looking to take home the, the gold there. So good luck to them. Well, Mike, yeah. good news. They've already off to a good start in this season because it has won the <laughs> poll hey, from this uh, group. Nice. So, Not a shocker out of this group, yeah, I would say. So. So they went, they went the right direction for that. By the way, Mike, you brought up something very interesting. Uh, throughout the season, if you have a reveal video that you'd like to premiere uh, during any of our region recap shows or even on the FRC Top 25, uh, you can send it over to us. Uh, we'll be more apt to show it if you haven't already revealed it. Just, you know, be honest with you, it's not as exciting if people have already seen it. Um, or, you know, but you can still send it over to us and we'll, we'll try to show things. We also are doing clips of the week. I was thinking about before, like, man, somebody clipped Justin, like, messing it up over and over again. This title, like, Justin can't quite say, can't stop, say, Strike Force. Um, he hasn't muted not. himself, though, yet. That's true. So we actually have a full host mute now uh, in case any of the hosts do it. Um, but with Let's that go. said, uh, in our Discord, if you're interested during the season, clip stuff that you see. Uh, so make sure you're on the Blue Alliance, by the way. That is the only place I recommend that you go and check out uh, amazing matches. You can catch them all together at once. Uh, and be in the right chat room for that as well, too. And you can uh, clip multiple Twitch clips from it. We'll throw it together, um, and we'll give you the clips of the week uh, for what's going on. You can send those in our Discord. There's a spot called Clips of the Week um, or short videos. Just don't be sending us full matches. If you do that, we're just not even going to look no, at it. No, I don't even bother. Yeah, no. because Mike puts those together, and uh, when you get like Ain't nobody clips, got time for that. Exactly, yeah. and it's got to be quick. So we'll be due on Monday by 6 p.m. Eastern each week. That's our cutoff uh, when we're going to make the new clips of the week. Uh, so once again, go check out thebluealliance.com uh, uh, for all the information you need in regards to what you want for FIRST Robotics. Sweet deal. All right, so that rounded out Group 5. We're going to do finish up with our giveaway here. Yes. Uh, again, the uh, keyword was sold out with a space in between and uh, i think tyler's gonna roll for hopefully us. They, uh, hopefully are sold out now who knows so thanks for watching if you want more fun content be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos you can also directly help support fun by visiting our patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.